This screencast will show you how to use GUI sliders and GUI buttons in Playmaker. First thing you have to do is make sure the scene has a Playmaker GUI component. Playmaker will normally add this to the scene automatically. But if you want to do it manually, you can find it in the Playmaker menu. Playmaker GUI has some options that you can play with. For example, drawing the state labels, drawing Playmaker gizmos, previewing on GUI actions live in the game view, even when you're not running the game, and enabling or disabling the GUI layout. So, let's select the main camera, add a state machine, create a state GUI, and add a horizontal slider. So here you can see the slider already in the game view without running the game. So we can tweak its placement. Get it in roughly the right position. In Playmaker, a GUI slider controls a float variable. So let's make a float variable. We'll call it rotation, since we'll use it to rotate this cube and hook it up to the slider. Now, let's use set rotation. Point it at the cube. And use rotation as the Y angle. And we'll do it every frame. Also, let's take a look at the horizontal slider we want the value to go from 0 to 360, so we get a full rotation of the cube. Now let's test it. Cool. Okay, now let's use a GUI button. In Playmaker, GUI buttons send events. So let's set up this cube with a state machine that will react to some events. Let's give it idle state. And we'll make it jump. And it gets the jump event. And it's finished jumping. We'll go back to idle. So we'll make a jump with an animated float value. Or we can make an animation curve here. Store it in a height variable. Send the finished event. We'll use set position to set the height. And we'll do it every frame. Now, if we test just this state machine, we can alt click on jump just to test this bit of it out. So now, if we go back to the GUI. Add a button. Let's call it jump. This can send a jump event. Broadcast event and send jump. And return. And send 
jump when the button is pressed. Okay, now we'll try it out. So we've hooked up a jump button and a rotation slider. That's it for this screencast. Thanks.